Hello everybody, this is Chef Harpal Singh Sokhi. One thing that always bothers me is a recipe that I have on my YouTube channel, which is Spanish omelette, which actually bothers the entire world. Now I'm going to show you the exact Spanish omelette, which is made with lots of potatoes and onions. So all those people who've been writing, mm, and making faces and pulling the hair off, please, I know how to make Spanish omelette. So this is the way it is. A lot of potatoes here and I've got oil here. So I'm frying them. I don't want to color them. So first the potatoes so that they are soft. They don't become like wafer chips and we'll fry them for some time. Just ensure that when you put the potatoes, the oil should not, just ensure that when you put the potatoes, the oil should not be very, very hot. Otherwise it'll all spill out. Yeah. So I'm going to make the potatoes nice and soft. Now, midway through, I'll put the onions also that I've sliced. Fry both of them together so that the onions also don't get brown. Potatoes at the same time become soft but not brown. So as uh, the onions and potatoes are getting fried, I take four eggs. Take a fork. Add some salt and pepper. And beat the eggs, keep aside. Now as the potatoes and onions, especially the potatoes become nice and soft, remove in a strainer first, so that you drain out the maximum oil. Remove the potatoes in a bowl and Another pan, enough to give the nice thickness to this omelette, especially this omelette. So a little bit of oil in here again. There's lots of oil already in the potatoes and onions. In goes the eggs into the pan. And we need to cook this on a slow flame so that you know you don't burn the omelette and yet it gets set properly. You can also put this in an oven with the pan so that it gets set from the top also but if you don't have an oven then you need to slide it in a plate, turn it around, put it back. Simple story. Slide it back to the plate cook the other side also and get ready to serve. Now the omelette is ready to serve and some salad, tomatoes, olive oil, herbs, wow. And that's a nice thick omelette ready to be eaten by everybody. Now everybody who's been telling me, chef, where the onions and onions and potatoes and potatoes in the Spanish omelette, this is just for you. So I'm going to dig in right now. You can always cut this. It can be made as thick as possible as you like actually honestly. I mean if you like it thicker, you can always make it thicker the way you like it, the way you want to eat it. You know, I'm enjoying my omelette like this with uh, oh, 